friends now we have to solve one trigonometric problem find the acute angle theta such that 2 cos square theta is equal to 3 sin theta friends don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1st to class 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. Now see here what is given. The condition is 2 cos square theta is equal to 3 sin theta. This equation is given as condition. Now, to solve this equation by using quadratic equation method, we want only one variable. But here, two variables are given. One is cos theta, other is sin theta. So, first we have to convert them in single variable equation. And we know identity for sin square theta and cos square theta. So, by using this identity, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, we can change our first term cos square theta uh, cos square theta in sin square theta see how our first term becomes 2 into at the place of cos square theta we have to use identity 1 minus sin square theta is equal to in the right hand side 3 sin theta as it is now this equation has only one variable sin theta now first we have to simplify it. Following the bracket we get 2 1 are 2 minus 2 sin square theta minus 3 sin theta shifting this term from right side to left side minus 3 sin theta is equal to 0. Now rearranging term in proper form we get 2 sin square theta plus 3 sin theta minus 2 is equal to 0. Here we have arranged them properly according to our quadratic form and also we have changed the sign. So we got proper quadratic equation with variable sin theta. Now we have to factorize it. Now to factorize it we have to split the middle term such that some of the coefficients of our new terms will be 3 and their product will be minus 4 as the product of coefficients of first and last term. So 2 the minus 4. So we have to split the middle term. So we get first term 2 sin square theta as it is plus at the place of middle term you have to write 2 terms 4 sin theta minus sin theta and last term minus 2 as it is is equal to 0. Now see here middle term 4 sin theta and minus sin theta means 3 sin theta their sum is 3 and their product 4 ones are 4 means minus 4 as a product of first and last coefficient. So now we have to take common from first two terms as well as last two terms. See now, from first two terms we can take 2 sin theta common. So we get 2 sin theta into in bracket from first term remaining part sin theta plus from second term 2 sin theta plus 2. Similarly, by taking common factor from last two terms, since there is, there is no common factor, so we can take minus 1 common. So by taking minus 1 common, we get in bracket sin theta plus 2 is equal to 0 in the right hand side as it is. Now this equation has again two terms and both the terms have common factor as one bracket sin theta plus 2. So we can take sin theta plus 2 common so we get in one bracket common factor sin theta plus 2 into in other bracket 2 sin theta minus 1 is equal to right hand side 0. That means either first bracket sin theta plus 2 is equal to 0 or second bracket 2 sin theta minus 1 is equal to 0. That means either sin theta is equal to minus 2 or sin theta is equal to 1 upon 2. Now we have two values of sin theta. But we know sin theta cannot be less than minus 1. So the value of sin theta as minus 2 is not possible because sin theta is always between minus 1 to 1 either it is minus 1 or plus 1 or between them so it can't equal to minus 2 
So the permissible value of sin theta is 1 upon 2. So that means our second option sin theta is equal to 1 upon 2 is perfect, is correct. But we know sin 30 is equal to 1 upon 2 because according to the question theta is acute, we have to find acute angle and we know sin 30 is equal to 1 upon 2. Therefore, we can write sin theta is equal to sin 30. Therefore, we can say that theta is equal to 30. So, the value of theta is 30 degree. It is also acute. So, friends, solve this problem again in your notebook and don't forget to give one like.